Good morning. Good morning and welcome to today's Majority Policy Committee hearing. My name is Dave Reed. I am the Majority Policy Committee Chairman. I represent the 62nd District in Indiana County. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to thank uh, Representative Maloney for hosting us today. Particularly, I'd like to thank the folks at the library for the use of their facility. Today's hearing is going to focus on jobs and the economy and the number of factors involved in creating a more prosperous environment for our citizens across the Commonwealth and moreover what state government can do to help foster private sector job creation. You know, at the state level, we control some things. There are other things we do not control. But our greatest responsibility is creating an environment that allows our private sector employers to hire more employees, to put more folks to work, to create a more vibrant economy for our citizens across the Commonwealth. <laughs> uh, Christian, if you want to start out. I'm Christian Malesic, Executive Officer of the Home Builders Association of Berks County. Though I'm before you as but one man, I actually represent over 350 businesses of one of the proudest, strongest, most hardworking, and quintessentially American industries, the construction industry. We're the builders, the remodelers, plumbers, electricians, roofers, and the various tradesmen, as well as our suppliers and other professionals that bring the American dream to life. We build, fix, maintain, remodel houses, allowing fellow Americans to have a place to call home sweet home. As a CEO, I spend most of my time in the company of other CEOs. Our members bring you one common, unified, and loud message. Get the government off our backs. You don't need to fix the economy. We'll do that. Let us. You don't need to try to create jobs. That's what we do. Stop the overtaxation and the overburdensome regulation so that we can hire. You don't need to build the business or the homes of tomorrow. That's our job. Cut the overburdensome regulation and the red tape so we can do our jobs. Every year, Chief Executive Magazine ranks the 50 states in order of the best states for business. In 2011, Pennsylvania was in 39th place. Not because of workforce quality or living environment, in those areas, we received high marks, but because of overtaxation and overregulation. On May 2nd, 2012, fairly recently ago, this year's results were released. We fell four spots to 43rd place in the nation. Now, with that in mind, consider how regulatory restrictions continue to expand despite the harm that they have on economic development. A regulatory handcuff, for example, from which the economy must try to escape. In 2009, the PA Department of Environmental Protection, the DEP, they implemented a 150-foot buffer for protected waterways, which restricts potential sites for new home construction. Now, this is especially burdensome since 90% of all waterways, now that includes rivers, streams, creeks, and cricks in Pennsylvania are considered restricted. As if overregulation wasn't enough. In Pennsylvania, the tax burden is also backbreaking. Pennsylvania remains one of the most notorious states for discouraging growth and the birth of business through its draconian taxation policy. March of 2012, again, very recently, Investors Business Daily, very noteworthy newspaper, reported that Pennsylvania is one of the five most unfriendly states to do business with, with an effective tax rate 45% higher than the national average. PA's corporate net income tax, the CNIT, at 9.99% contributes to the relocation of hundreds of businesses out of state every year. Pennsylvania also assesses a cumbersome local taxation system through the property tax, a system that discourages home sales and construction. In Berks County, the property tax are often so high that the annual property tax payments are equal or higher than the mortgage payment. Now, the 
Act 1 restrictions passed in 2011 limited the school board's ability to raise taxes, and gentlemen, they were a step in the right direction. But I sit here speaking as a past president of the Central Dauphin School Board, the 13th largest of 500 school districts in the state of Pennsylvania. And I can tell you that the Act 1 restrictions are not strong enough. School property taxes continue to go up year after year. So why do we care? Why do we care as builders, remodelers, electricians? We care as drivers of the economy. The home building industry is on the forefront of job creation and economic development. As the home construction industry goes, so goes the entire economy. Every new home generates at least three new full-time jobs to service and maintain the house and approximately $90,000 in public revenue during its lifetime. And these jobs are American jobs that will never be outsourced. You want to serve? You want to make a difference? What can you do? Well, allow us to do what we do. Reduce the regulatory burden, reduce the taxation burden so that we can do our jobs. Open infrastructure projects to private and merit shop contractors. Assist with education and training as we heard from the previous panel. And continue programs like the Educational Improvement Tax Credit, the EITC. We must approach these issues together with eyes and ears wide open and then to make a tough decision, the tough decisions, to get Pennsylvania growing again. I'm available to each one of you to be of assistance in helping you help the citizens of Pennsylvania. Together, I believe we can grow stronger in this state than we've ever been before. I do have printed remarks of my presentation available for any audience member that would like them. Thank you, gentlemen.